Before start the video, huge shout out to Lectron. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into Lectron's latest video on Fortnite optimizations. I'll be giving you my take on his tips and tricks and why I think he's spot on. Remember, not every optimization video out there can be trusted. Some might even sneak malware onto your computer. So let's see if Lectron's advice stands up to scrutiny. Let's get started. These Fortnite optimizations are killing your FPS. Every one of these videos is either a dragged out waste of time or they're straight up putting viruses on your computer. Because I don't want any more people wasting their time on these videos, I'm going to be putting every single one of these optimizations on my PC so you don't have to. Oh my gosh, thank God. And as expected, we would be off to an extremely rough start. Enabling a secret ability to see how much delay you actually get in the new season. That's not a fucking secret ability. That's latency debug stat. Does he think I'm stupid? I this video for about 10 minutes and got absolutely nothing. And I wish I could get those 10 minutes back. Now for the moment of truth. Would this video give me 180 extra FPS? Time to find out. Okay, I thought I actually fixed something for a second, but it, we're just going lower and lower. This is horrible. If there was any difference at all, I only felt that there was more delay and I wasn't getting a consistent 240 while free building. But it didn't really kill my FPS, so let's try and ruin my laptop with a couple more optimizations. This thumbnail is crazy for saying that we can go from 60 to 540 FPS with his tweet. Wait a minute. 10 days ago, I covered this software. Nine days ago? He does the same thing. You're not slick. Go to a Windows search bar and basically search up core isolation. This is good advice. Then you're going to see virtual memory and click on the change. So I did this virtual memory thing and then I disabled some background stuff and I was scared of what was about to come next. Next up, I'm going to show you how we can basically optimize a network adapter and also make sure that every single driver is up to date. It doesn't even make sense to have it, honestly, because you could just go search for it yourself. And then he shows us his NVIDIA profile inspector settings, which are not as optimized as mine. My settings are in the Discord link in the description. But if you don't know how to import files, don't worry about that for today. I taught that in a previous video. And then he finishes up the video with NVIDIA control panel settings, which I did copy. I'm going to restart my PC and hopefully we get more FPS. To be honest, I'm expecting a slight boost. And yeah, this is pretty much as expected. Yeah, it's not the 60 FPS to 540 like he promised. So let's move on. Next video we're going to look at is how to get 500 FPS. But no offense, the way this guy talks just pisses me off. So I might have to watch this on mute. Boost your FPS in the new Fortnite season with a bunch of optimization. Ba -ba boost your FPS in the new Fortnite season with a bunch of optimizations. I mistakenly put this optimization in one of my previous videos as well, but this thing is fully placebo. It doesn't work anymore. Then he makes us do some things in Process Lasso, and to be honest, I have no idea if it actually works, so we'll test that later in this video. Let's just do a few registry edits, which I already did in a previous video. Here, you're into the Microsoft HK local machine. Go into software. Go into the Microsoft. Now find Windows NT. Bro said Windows NT. <laughs> in the description so we can copy and paste and just find it how about you take advice from a smaller youtuber like me you can just copy and paste this select this paste it and you go exactly to where you need to go. Microsoft, Windows NT, like that is just too much. Never looked at that to be honest. I have no idea what it does, but if he says to disable sysmain, I'm gonna believe him because uh, King is the GOAT. And disabling our OneDrive. This guy is the GOAT. I finally learned how to disable OneDrive. I think some of these tweaks are actually good and it low-key could have been a good video, but we'll see We'll see if it actually boosts our FPS. Well, my FPS stayed basically exactly the same But this is not the point of the video. I want to kill my FPS Technically, I can just watch another it's Jerian video and I'll probably drop my FPS down to five <laughs> Opitmize any CPU, but instead we're gonna watch this video from Marin TM 50 ways to improve FPS and get zero input delay <laughs> eight freaking minutes firstly we want to make sure that our monitor is connected to the graphics card and who the heck is connecting their monitor to their motherboard on a desktop unlike me then you'll probably see even better results i think he meant to say laptop because if he's not on a desktop then what is he playing on a freaking fridge his miles and hertz polling rate is default for any mouse made after 1942 and then docp and xmp you only have to worry about that if your ram is not running at the correct speed I'm sure your computer is not on a carpet okay remove dust from your radiator okay old thermal paste okay there's a quality of thermal paste map is he just trying to extend this video as long as he can the cooling pad simply lift your laptop up a bit don't use your laptop without it being plugged in well no fucking shit that's like using your pc without the freaking power cable connecting a monitor to your laptop bro everybody knows this use an ethernet cable what does the quality of the ethernet cable matter for ping what Make sure you use the correct RAM slots. What? 
Does USB ports matter for latency? What? What do you think I am? I'm not gonna water cool my laptop. That's gonna cost like eight billion trillion dollars. Repasting your CPU? We just talked about thermal paste, and then we want to repaste it here, bro. The only thing that's being pasted is your video being copied and pasted. Overclocking. I would recommend searching up how to overclock my CPU on an MSI. I clicked on this video to learn how to optimize my PC. And you're not gonna teach me you have a 38 minute long video and you can't even teach me how to overclock and even though i already know how to it's just really painful seeing these youtubers be so lazy it doesn't even make any sense i was making fun of this video and it got me 400 fps i'm about to retire use code lek in the item shop so guys this is the end of the video i hope that you enjoy his video i will link his youtube and discord channel in the description of my video go support him he is a really good guy and yep thanks for watching Goodbye.